An alleged confrontation between a group of gun rights activists and a gun safety advocacy group has put a spotlight on Texas gun culture and is putting a different focus on the national gun debate. Now, these are some pretty disturbing pictures showing more than two dozen members of a gun rights organization called Open Carry Texas carrying long guns in the parking lot of a restaurant this past weekend. Now, you can see most of them are on there. They were apparently protesting a meeting that was being held by Moms Demand Action where inside of a restaurant at this local mall, but the face-off didn't stop there as allegedly escalated to social media now after the gun-toting group left that parking lot. Shannon Watts is the founder of Mon Moms Demand Action for Gun Sense in America. So, Shannon, we look at those images. Now, we reached out to Open Carry Texas for a formal statement. We have not heard back from them. But what was the reaction of you and others that were si there signing people up? It was a membership drive, if I understand correctly, right? Yes, it was being led by one of our Texas moms, and she was meeting with prospective members. Uh, it was a private meeting that had been discussed on Facebook, and a member of Open Carry Texas pretended to be one of our members so they could find out where and when we were meeting. Uh, our moms were eating lunch in the restaurant, looked outside, and saw that 40 people were getting out of cars and began to pull uh, long guns out of their trunks, and that included semi-automatic rifles. Um, as you can imagine, that was pretty terrifying. They were just there to have a discussion, and uh, they were being bullied and intimidated by people who were armed. All right, so explain, though, when it comes to Texas. It's a concealed carry state, right? You are allowed to open carry long guns in the state of Texas. Um, in terms of open carry laws, in more than 30 states, you don't need a permit or any training to open carry. And then add on top of that, about 40% of all people don't have background checks. So these are not people that I trust to be around my children with loaded weapons. All right, so again, this is happening in a mall parking lot. Uh, the images, concerning enough, but now this is kind of taken on a life of its own through social media. Yeah, that's right. Um, you know, we, we've unfortunately had a, a lot of threats from this group. Um, they, you know, there are a lot of responsible gun owners in this country. Unfortunately, uh, people like Open Carry Texas uh, do not represent responsible gun owners, and they are the people making the, the laws in this country. And it's why we have a mass shooting every day and why we lose eight children and teens every day to gun violence. We have to have responsible people step up and say no more. There has to be certain regulations on the Second Amendment, like background checks, so that we can curb the epidemic of gun violence in America. It really seems, though, as if, Shannon, the gun debate nationally has been muted in Washington, D.C. for some time. The oxygen taken away by other concerns, the government shutdown. Now we've got the ACA and issues with the rollout. Would you say that the, the, the embers ha have died down on, on where the issue and the arguments stand for gun reform? Not at all. For the first time, moms are involved in this issue. You know, just a year after our organization started on December 15th, we have nearly 100,000 members on the ground, a chapter in every state. And we are going to elect a better Congress that will pass the laws that we need. In the meantime, we're going after state legislatures and we're going after American businesses. And we've had one huge success. We got Starbucks to change their gun policy. So we're going to keep working. And now that moms are involved, this is going to get done. Shannon Watts of Moms Demand Action for Gun Sense in America. Shannon, nice to see you. Thanks for your time.